The Tin Soldier Once upon a time, there was a little boy who got for his birthday a box full of tin soldiers. They were all alike, except one that strangely had only one leg. He also received a cardboard castle and a beautiful ballerina, wearing a pink dress with a golden flower on it. The little ballet dancer balanced on one leg, the other being lifted very high. The tin soldier soon noticed the ballerina. Well, we look alike, he thought. It seems that she has one leg, like me. And she's so pretty. He immediately fell in love with her. When the night fell, the little boy went to sleep after he had put away the toys in their box. But he forgot the one-legged soldier out of it, standing near the ballerina. Once darkness completely befell, the toys started to come to life. The clown stroked cymbals, the top span, the ball bounced, the mechanical rabbit hooped and the soldier tried to go out of their box. As for the one-legged soldier, he started to talk with the pretty ballerina timidly. At this moment, a hideous imp leaped out of the box and speaking to the tin soldier yelled, Stop looking at the ballerina like this or you'll be hearing from me. The tin soldier remained quiet, indifferent to these words. As for the ballerina, she told him that she enjoyed talking with him very much. The next morning, the little boy played again with his tin soldier. He arranged them in battle order and put the one-legged soldier on the still of the open window as a guard. But a storm suddenly broke. The blast of the wind threw off balance the soldier who fell off the window. He found himself on the pavement, upside down his rifle bayonet stuck between two cobblestones. It was pouring heavily. Just nearby, two boys took shelter under a Porsche. When the rain nearby stopped, they came out of their shelter and saw the tin soldier. Oh look, said one of the two boys, a tin soldier, what could he be doing here? One of his legs is missing, noticed the other. With one leg, he'd better be in a ship as a pirate and the two boys made him a boat with a newspaper sheet. Then they put down the boat in a gutter with a soldier in it. The water was rushing down the road at full speed, carrying along with it the frail boat. The soldier felt terrified. Suddenly, a few meters ahead of him, he saw that water was rushing into a deep black hole. Oh my God, I'm going to be carried along in the sewer, he thought. The paper boat went its way, gliding over the dirty and muddy water of the sewer. All of a sudden, a huge threatening rat tried to take hold of him. Fortunately, it didn't succeed. Frightened to death, the soldier held his rifle tight. He started thinking of the pretty ballerina, hoping to find some comfort in that. I will probably never see her again, he thought. A few moments later, he caught a glimpse of a light at the end of the tunnel. But his troubles weren't over yet. This was only the exit of the sewer which water poured into the river. Swept along by the muddy water, the boat fell broke. The boat fell, broke up and the tin soldier sank straight to the bottom. This time, it's really the end, he said desperately. At this moment, a big fish rushed towards him and swallowed him. What a sad fate, ending in the stomach of a fish, he thought. All of a sudden, the fish began to toss restlessly, shaking the soldier up and down. It was worse than what he experienced in the sewer water. Then the fish, convulsive movement ceased, and the soldier felt relieved. Bit by bit, the tin soldier took fresh heart and waited to see what was coming next. He suddenly saw a light that grew wider and wider as if the fish was breaking into two parts. In fact, it was a big knife blade that he saw next to him. Then he heard a voice saying, Well then, it's the tin soldier. What really happened was that the fish was caught after it swallowed the soldier. Then it ended up on the fish merchant's stall where it was finally bought by the mother of the little boy who received the tin soldiers as a gift. The mother called her son and told him that she found this tin soldier in the stomach of the fish she was cooking for dinner. 
they both didn't understand what had happened. Anyway, the important thing was that he felt happy to recover his toy. A few days later, the little boy threw away the tin soldier into the burning fire. After he had spent a long time playing with his toys, placed near the chimney, the ballerina saw the whole scene. The courageous soldier felt the horrible heat of the flames that were melting him. He looked at the little dancer he loved so much for the last time. At this very moment, a strong draft blew up and pushed down the ballerina into the fireplace beside the little soldier. The following day, the boy's mother came to clean the chimney. And there she found, in the middle of the ashes, a small tin heart and the ballerina's golden flower bound at each other. The two lovers have melted together and united forever.